Alright, here we are. We're doing another video for Bong Brawn Braver. Well, I think it's actually, is it Bong Brave Brave and Bovern? Braven? I don't know. See, the name is so sometimes complicated for me. But honestly, we're on episode two and I've already watched it. Just finished watching, actually. And holy crap, it is freaking funny it's so it's so ridiculous and how funny this is <laughs> oh my god so right off the bat we already have the characters development a little bit where you saw me you know actually we don't really know what's going on because we see uh brave uh, braverin right here just talking and it's so funny how he talks to like these uh you know these soldiers or i guess like military it's like he's so exaggerated he's just like what is your name again and he's like rah, rah, and he just yells it he's just so over the top and as you can see in this image right he's just really extra and it's freaking hilarious um so overall this video is obviously probably spoiler warning i should have done that the beginning but anyway spoiler warning if you don't want it spoiled but again this will be like my thoughts on the episode and also i would be going into a little bit of detail on what happened in the episode as well so i'll let you guys you know i'll give you a few seconds if you want to leave Okay, cool, sweet. So you should up by then. Uh, but anyways, this video is well. This you know, this episode was super, super funny, and you probably already know already. I don't really script any of my stuff, so this is basically whatever I think on top of my head. So that's usually how it works. Uh, but anyway, it's it was super funny. Where like um, we are, we don't even know where Asami is. You find out he's being interrogated for some reason, and this guy has like the most punchable face ever. I'm just like not having it, right? I mean, if I can pull it up, this guy, this guy, he's already getting like interrogated. And yeah, this guy, let me, let me see if I find this guy's face. Because this guy's like, yeah, this guy really want to punch this guy's face. I mean, what's he even doing here? Like, oh my god. Like, I hope, I, I really hope something happens to him. Because I don't like the guy at all. So, anyways, they just interrogate him. Seeing if he's like a, you know, soldier. Or he's a traitor. And all that stuff. And then, so they get into this thing with him. And he's, and he goes with this whole monologue of like, why he needs a sami and stuff like that it's like it's kind of borderline you know gay basically it's freaking hilarious and he gets really into it he's just like you know i love it when he's inside me and i was like oh my god this is so great so you know he's and he just goes with this whole monologue about it. he's just like it sounds like he's like almost like singing or something like that so it's pretty great he's just like please he's inside me and stacy and i want him to be with me um so that happens, and then after that, uh, again, they have an enemy that comes, and it's like, oh, I, know, I just said that, right? So it comes, and so there's another enemy, and then you find out that, you know, oh, that's a really cool pose, by the way, too. So, like that. Like, see, this is like super robot war status. This is actually what the director does. He just makes these awesome-ass poses. Not he actually created this, but, you know, it's very popular. So anyways, he's fighting this freaking another alien thing that came out of nowhere, and of course, Isami is still being interrogated at this moment, and he's trying to fight, you know, and again, you know, he's trying to fight, you know, for the people. And he has to convince them that, like, this is for them, not for, you know, I'm not a traitor or anything. So that's kind of like what they're doing here. And, you know, so during this time, you know, he's just fighting, but he can't do it without a zombie. I, I don't know why. And I guess we kind of didn't figure that out. So during this time, he's fighting this thing, but he's like, oh, I need a zombie inside of me. Like, I can't do this by myself. So this is like some, like... I guess you can say this is some kind of like darling in the Franks kind of shit, where it's just like, how do I explain it? Uh, it's like the idea where you need two people to pilot and except instead of, you know, man and woman, it's like a man and a robot. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that. <laughs> it is really funny. And again, it's it's just great. It's super like fellas kind of stuff. So I, I'm all for it. And I think it's really funny. And it brings a new type of like, you know, flavor to the anime, because I feel like with every mecha anime, it's very like, okay, war, blah, 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 oh my god, this person died, that's serious, you know, but it doesn't get into, like, detail where it's like, what if we just do this over-the-top thing, you know, just, like, something just so ridiculous that it just shocks people, but also it gives something for them to enjoy, um, I mean, those are my thoughts for sure, like, I mean, I, I really enjoy it for what it is, like, this is just a, really funny show you're not supposed to take it too seriously uh i know the first episode they definitely did they like debated us with like war and like oh my god you know it's going crazy and then, 
But no, not not for this. They were just going. They just decided in the end. Like by the way, this is you guys forgot this is this is a huge super robot war, and here we go. This is something over the top. So that happens. It gets over the top. Um, but he suddenly pulls a Shinji almost, where he's just like, I don't want to go on the robot again, and we don't know why. We don't know why. And, and I'm watching this episode while I'm like, okay, what is going on? Why doesn't he want to go on the robot? And maybe it's because he feels awkward. It's PDA. I don't know. Like we just don't know and i think maybe it's something more deeper you know we don't want to take it too seriously because again like it's not mainly supposed to be a pretty dark show it's mainly just supposed to be funny exaggerate freaking over the top so i think the reasoning is gonna be really dumb um they haven't mentioned that yet but he just didn't want to go inside um he was just scared you know and i was like oh okay because i mean maybe i have to rewatch the first episode because maybe was he always like this like he just didn't want to go on the robot or something or i don't know they didn't really explain too much about it so um you know moving forward he didn't want to go inside so then his friend uh lewis was trying to be like hey you know what i have the same vision as you i can do it i can pilot you and then from there it's like okay you know he wants to pilot him and they get into this monologue of like just love where it's just like Oh, you do? And then, there's a good quote up here. It's, yeah, so right here, he goes, like, let's fight together. And he goes, like, oh, so he gets in this, you know, frame where it's, like, it's super, like, romantic. And it's, like, oh, yes. And then and you can tell from his face, he's, like, oh, really? You have the same vision? And then he just goes, nah. <laughs> he's, like, nah. He's, like, nope, not impossible. And he doesn't explain why. It's just, like, nope, can't do it. And he's, like, can't, can't go inside. So I'm just like, what? And I kind of knew that was going to happen. Because usually with these kind of animes, or just in general, in shows where it's like you really feel like this person was meant to pilot the suit. But not. So so I'm not too surprised. I actually knew that was actually going to happen. But, you know, it is funny to see. And, um, no, they just couldn't do it. So he's like, okay, that's fine. No big deal. So, you know, that happened where, like, basically he couldn't go in the suit which is totally fine, and then he's like, okay, and so he just, you know, Lewis kind of just accepted that, he's like, okay, that's fine, well, uh, you should do it, so let's do it, and then, you know, Asami finally comes to the senses, he's like, all right, I'll pilot the thing, so, you know, again, they, they pilot the suit, and um, they finally do it, and it gets intense, and and then he goes like, oh, wait, that's not the attack we're using, he's like, but that's the same thing, so then they have their fight, and obviously, you know, again, Oh, actually, you know, honestly, this suit, it looks really nice. I want to get into, like, the, the enemy suit. It actually looks really badass. Like, look how nice this is. Like, whoever's designing these mechs, get this guy a raise. Because they're looking really, really good. So, I don't know. I, I hope they call them model kits or at least figurines for this. I totally get it for sure. So, then they go into the attack and, you know, copies they win. I don't know what this is about, but I, hopefully he's in trouble because I really don't like the guy. So, by the end of the episode, um... You, you know, the the military is like, okay, well, we thank you for helping us out. We really appreciate it. And then he goes, we want to apologize to Asami. And then he's just like, uh, he, uh, he's not in there. And you find Asami. I'm not going to show because of nakedness. But Asami basically is stuck in the suit. He's like trapped inside. And we're just like, bro. <laughs> so, and we'll find out in the next episode, I guess, you know, when we find out what's going to happen to him. But overall... This series is great, and even the ending was hilarious too. By the way, if you haven't watched the ending song, it's it's so funny. It's both of them singing, and I, I it's Sammy and Lewis. I don't know what's going on, but it's freaking funny. So, anyways, uh, what do you guys thought about the episode? Are you guys excited? Did you guys watch it? Do you guys think it's great? Comment below. Know your thoughts. And if there's anything I missed, please comment below. I would love to know your thoughts about it. And see you guys in the video next time. Bye. Hey, I was watching that. Thank you.